Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part four in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, the Silent Spy. All right, let's see this Bray Arena here. We haven't checked this out yet. It looks like a training gym, like a where you work out. Um, let's see, where do we want to go first? Maybe let's go over to this desk here. Mastering the Bow, a beginner's guide to archery. Longbow, recurve, compound. Interesting, okay. The Great Highland Bagpipe. Okay, um, that tells us how to play the bagpipe. So, <laughs> cool. Very Scottish. What do we have over here? There must be a way to get this open. That is locked. Uh, money. This is ooh a high score. Kate Mazing, Moynificent. Kate's Ace. Twist of Kate. Kate Mazing. Wow. So this hasn't been used um, in like a decade. It looks pretty. Look. It looks like it's in pretty good Let's shape. Let's give this a shot. Whoa. Considering the fact that it hasn't been used in ten years. That was pretty good. Not bad. Am I just trying to get like the high score here? So I think the higher and farther it is away, the like sooner I'll have to shoot. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Maybe not that soon. It was moving pretty slow. Um Oh, too late. Okay, I only got five points on that one. What are we trying to get? Whoa. Dang it. <laughs> I missed. Um, what is the score that we're trying to get? Oh, that was okay. That was a ten. We have thirty points. That's not horrible. Not bad. That I can get an even higher score. Yeah, I just got it at the bottom. So I need to get higher than fifty-five. Mm. Okay. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna like look around it again real quick, just to see what else is in here, and then I'm gonna go for it. It looks like it's missing a part. Our bagpipe hmm. is broken, so apparently we need to fix the bagpipe. Um, can we look at anything else? Doesn't look like it. Exercise area. Fighting dummy. Yeah, that's right. Practice your karate, Nancy. You should have learned self-defense skills a long time ago, given how many times bad guys have attacked you. And women. Bad people. Okay, I think that's everything in here. So yeah, I guess let's give it a shot and try to get higher than 55. Let's try to get the high score. Okay, it's going really slow. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was a 15. We'll take that. We'll take it. Okay, this one's coming pretty slow, but it's also pretty close. Ooh, 10. Not bad, not bad. Another 10. That could have been better, but it wasn't horrible. Oh, another 10. Okay, if we get another 10, we got 55. Oh, we got 15! We did it! Woo! Second time's the charm. Yeah! Oh, cool. We win a good bow. I'm pretty pleased with this development. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, I mean, cool. Take a really fancy compound bow thing. Might as well. Neato. Alright. Well. I guess we can head back to the train station? Back to civilization? Is it safe to be away from our safe house? Hey, you. Hey, kid. I'll let you go. See you around. No updates? Um, let's go see if we can get that card and go see Ewan. Um, we can check in with you. Where were you? I wasn't sure if you had a party or if you got murdered. Either way, it would have been nice to be invited. I went to spend a little time at a cabin. Who just goes to a cabin by themselves? Shut up! Did you bring Alec? You know Alec? I know he's not into me, but now I see why. Alec did not come with me, and how do you know about him anyway? I'm not here to judge. There's nothing to judge. Let me check the docket. Hmm. 
May I refer you to the case of Tree versus Nancy and Alec? Tree alleges K I S S. Ugh, enough! Oh, fine, I believe you. I'm just jealous. ING. Phew. Talk to you later. Bye. I mean, Alec is attractive, but he looks like he would be in like his at least 30s or 40s. Like, he definitely looks older, and Nancy is, um, we know that in Alibi and Ashes, at least, she was 18. And I can't imagine that there was a ton of time between this case and that one. So, yeah. for Nancy, an 18-year-old, to be dating someone in their 30s, I mean, to each their own, but that's often pretty creepy. So... I don't, Got it. I don't know about that as a storyline. If they were going to go with that, maybe make Alec look a little bit younger. But right now, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I just felt like making a couple cookies here. One, because it's fun. It's and two, just to, you know, have a little bit of money in the bank. It's good to have a little bit of money saved up. Got it. Woo, our first ten. Nice. This is definitely another fun um, puzzle. This is a lot like the snack shop in Waverly for me, where yes. it's actually a mini game that I can totally do over and over again and not really get bored of. Like, just have a lot of fun with it. It's very soothing. It's a masterpiece. Uh, that's probably good. 87 is pretty good. Okay, let's head. Oh, hello. Hi, Nancy. So, how. Am I on speakerphone? Yeah. Yes, Nancy, you are on the speakerphone. Oh. Mm-hmm. I would like to remind... Shut up, Ned. Don't talk to Ned that way. Actually, at this uh, juncture, that might be warranted. Thank you, Ned. You're welcome. Shut up, Ned. <laughs> Nancy, do you want to take a guess at why I'm upset with Ned right now? He broke into the house? Well, can't say that doesn't factor in. I'm upset with Ned because he let you talk him into something dangerous, and he wasn't smart enough to stop you. Whoa, hold on. All due respect, Mr. Drew, you're wrong. All due respect, Mr. Nickerson, you're a complete... Let me finish. I know how serious this is, but I also know Nancy. Better than her own father, I assume? As well as... But I can admit something you can't. And just what exactly is that? Nothing I say is going to stop Nancy, not this time. I understand why you don't want to help her, but that'll make things more dangerous for Nancy. She called me because she knows that my faith in her is stronger than my fear for her. So now you can tell me to shut up. The poem is on the top shelf of the bedroom closet. Can you go get it and give me a moment with Nancy? Sure thing, Mr. Drew. Sorry I burgled your house. Nancy, I don't know what to do here, kiddo. I wish you would just come home. But I think Ned is right, and you are right to go to him. Thanks. I'll talk to you again soon. That was a very meaningful conversation. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we are we on the ground floor? What level are we on again? What's our room number? Uh, I can't remember what room we're on. What floor we're on? What is our room number? <laughs> Were we on four? Okay, were we really high up? I, don't, I can't. I honestly have no clue. Um, is it in here? What floor were we on? I forgot. Uh, I guess I only have access to my floor and the main floor. Okay, which floor is my floor? Okay, seven. We're on the seventh floor. <laughs> you know, in useful information. Remembering the floor that you're on is generally helpful. Okay, um, oh, I forgot to check on the price of haggis. What's that? Oh, what was that? That is not normal. I need to take a closer look at her room. Weird. Hmm. She was, like, um, looking around her room with a device of some sort. Interesting. All right, yeah, again, we're gonna go down to the ground floor. We need to double check on the price of haggis. How much is the haggis? What do you do? Huh, how what? I don't really know. I guess I'm something of a detective. Freelance. That's the coolest! 
Do you have a gun? No, I don't. A badge? Nope. A trilby? Sorry. Hmm. You should at least have a proper trench and trilby if you're going to be in the detective game. How did you end up becoming a detective? I guess I just have trouble leaving questions unanswered. Unless you're talking to me. Touché. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you later. I like her dress. It also fits her perfectly. Okay, Haggis is five. And our room number, I think, is 727. So, uh, 727 times five is a number. Mom's copy of Jabberwocky. Now to figure out what it means. That's some fast scanning there. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. I sang this in choir in high school, and it is a really cool poem. Uh, and it's color-coded, so important stuff. We're going to keep that. Um, da -da 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 -da. We need to get to the safe. Oh! Alec must have had it delivered. My luggage! <laughs> Wait a second. Mom's stuff is missing. Did Alec take it? If he did, brood. Uh, we found money in here, but we just have clothes otherwise. Um, I sure hope Alec didn't take it, because that what is stealing. What did you stealing. And say was the code to get in here again? Alright, I'm going to find a calculator, and we are going to do 727 times 5, and that would be 3635. Beautiful. And there is just the one thing in here, which is the card that we need. Excellent. So uh, now we need to figure out how to get to the spy place, which honestly, I actually have no idea. How do we get to the spy place? Cathedral key card. Not necessarily helpful, because I don't know where Cathedral is. Did he tell us where Cathedral is? I'm having, it's been a hard trip, but I'm having fun. I made cookies, did a little archery, and saw some bagpipes. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, don't know where the cathedral place is. I guess we'll figure that out. Still, that's done. That's done. Still ha haven't, can't check that off yet. Okay, so we've done some important things. That's helpful. I need to use the key card Ewan gave me to activate this panel. Ah. That's new. It must be part of Cathedral security. Oh, so Cathedral's in this building. They're in the hotel? Oh, hello. Ah, oh, Nancy, what's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my Cathedral contact? My code name is Yun. And before you ask, no, I did not choose it. Would I've chosen something better? Shadow, blizzard, or some better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, so many questions. What is your role with Cathedral? I'm the Watcher in the Wires. I protect the status quo. And, for the time being, you. Hmm, okay. What do you mean by protect the status quo? Society rides on a rail, like a trolley. The rails are solid and modest and predictable. Those are your disc types. They get married, they have some kids, buy a house they can't afford, and never again are they unpredictable, or interesting, or alive even. But the catenary line, the third rail, that's what drives the world forward. People that have a charge running through them, they move the world forward. Or they try to destroy it. I make sure that won't happen. Um, honorable, I guess? Who is Revenant? We do not know exactly. That's just what we're calling him. I'm seeing a pattern. That pattern is called chaos. Simply put, they're the bad guys. Less simply put? In this game of cat and mouse, we thought we were the cat. But you're the mouse. We're the mouse. They're the trap. Why are you my contact? In order to do my job, I have to have top information clearance. But I'm not an agent per se. Civilian liaison work often falls to me. If you're asking what that means, you may not like the answer. May not? Absolutely won't. You're not considered a player. You're considered an asset. You're more or less on your own. You get to chat with me, and that's it. 
Which kind of confirms what I thought, is that we're really just here as, like, bait. Are you the one who sent me the message to come to Scotland? No. Do you know who did? Nope. Do you know why? Yes, in fact I do. Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. I don't. Oh, perhaps you do. How about you get caught up on the basics first before making up your mind? Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. So she really wasn't a reporter? She was, and was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. What or who was she spying on? Figured you'd want to know. I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for you along the wall. Interesting. How did my mom stop the attack? Your mother isolated the man who was orchestrating the attack. And of course he knew nothing, and had nothing that could lead back to Revenant. All he could say was whatever he needed had a way of appearing. And the same person never visited him twice. No one knew what they were bringing him, or why. It was perfectly, and alarmingly, decentralized. So what exactly does Revenant want? Back in the days of mud huts and the like, some years the harvests would be light. Sometimes, when that happened, two kings would meet and plan a war to thin their flocks. Then, no one would ever know of their failures. That is what Revenant wants. They don't want to take over the world. They want to keep it. The creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? I've been trying to track the source of the message. Grats await the mysterious stranger who coded that monstrosity. Is Cathedral a part of MI5? It is, and yet it is not. I understand. And yet you don't. I love duplicity. And yet... You hate it. There's my girl. I like your style. But... No, I genuinely do. What exactly do you do here? In the intelligence game, the dumb ones get manipulated and the clever ones get buried. And the particularly clever ones? Well, they win, of course. But that's most likely not you. No offense, it's not me either. Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? Well, not as such. Unless... You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Check this out. Find a bow, and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe, but it is fun. Many people can just find a bow. And why would you give this to a civilian? <laughs> Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Try not to let her become collateral damage. She seems sweet. Can you look into Alec Fell for me? Aye. Why was the attack centered on Glasgow? We wondered that as well. It took us too long. We had that special vanity that made us think our lives were more important than anyone else's. And that blinded us to the obvious. It was Glasgow because someone here wanted to play a risky game. When Revenant sees someone they think could be pointed in a direction they find advantageous, they drop a trail of breadcrumbs. Hmm. Goodbye. Bye. All right, so that's Ewan, um, which always just sounds like a sheep every time I say his name because you is like a female sheep, and Ewan is all I can think of. So, kudos for having a sheep name, guy. Um, got some like servers in here, like a computer main. I suppose. I mean, they have to be working with some pretty smart computers, so this has to be. Like the supercomputer lodge. This is where it all stays. Temperature, it has to be kept at 69, apparently. Um, some more coded lights. Very interesting. Okay. What about on this side? Uh, we got a computer. Nancy, this is your personal portal into the cathedral archives. We can't release all information, but this should get you through the basics. Kate Drew, deceased, colony project, 
Her internal name is Harrier. Uh, Lark, Moira, Condor, Carson, Kestrel, Nancy Drew. Okay. Lark is certified and requires no looking after. Harrier requested Condor be allowed restricted clearance, but briefed only as necessary. And that Kestrel was granted no clearance and was not to be briefed. So she didn't want Nancy to know anything. Uh, what else do we got? They have a file on Joe. Operative is known to this and other intelligence agencies. Trusted but not briefed. Extremely proficient tactician. And they have one on Frank, too. Operative is known to this and other intelligence agencies. Trusted but not briefed. Strong connection to Kestrel. So does Joe, though. They have a thing on Ned. Civilian, Robin. Known alias is Ned Stiffer. Kestrel's boyfriend of many years. Robin's loyalty and honesty make him an unlikely target for any individuals attempting to influence Kestrel. Yeah, he's too good a guy. They know about Bess. She's Magpie. Swift's cousin, trusted confidant, lacks judgment, and displays above-average intuition. Easily manipulated, but her candid nature makes her an unlikely target for any individuals attempting to influence Kestrel. Yeah, because she would talk too much and give us too much information. George is Swift. Magpie's cousin, trusted confidant, shows strong mechanical and engineering abilities and is watchlisted by a number of civilian organizations following her innovative work at the Jovic Center for Advanced Mechanical Study, um, which is a reference back to Deadly Device. And the picture that they're using for George is from Alibi and Ashes. Frank and Joe's pictures are from Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, and this is what Bess will look like in the upcoming game, um, The Shattered Medallion. Let's see. Colony operation notes. What's this? Kate's last days. Nothing is known about Kate's last days before the car crash. Following her northern trip, following her return trip to Scotland, she quickly went off grid to pursue a set of leads that remain undefined. It is believed that she was instrumental in r running the colony operation offline. Okay. Kate's last days. I want to look at this. Non-standard hire practice, Kate Drew. Kate Drew first appeared on the Cathedral Radar following a series of articles she wrote for the Glasgow Standard. Her ability to cut through high volumes of information quickly became apparent as her career progressed. At this point, she was contacted by her agents. She was brought on board after only one step into what is generally a multi-step process when she was given a test subject specifically trained by Cathedral to interview. As far as the applicant is concerned, this interview is meant to test their ability to differentiate between stated fact, stated assumption, and stated disinformation. Before the interview progressed beyond the control portion, Kate had discovered the hidden cameras and microphone and the true purpose of the interview. She was hired on the spot. It is recommended that Kate eventually move into field work, though her primary position with Cathedral will be as an analyst. Her ability to see patterns in large data sets paired with her intuition make her an ideal asset. Her unique interaction style may make her a wild card in the field, but more often than not, her blunt approach will give her direct access to difficult subjects. Interesting. So Kate was like a really good spy. We have a code. Um, what else do we have? Hannah Gruen is Osprey. Has not been briefed, considered non-active. She's just a civilian. Michael Chisholm, deceased. Killed in field operations, super spearheaded by Lark. Investigations into the failure of Wavebreak have been sealed. It is the opinion of the office that Sparrow's death was unavoidable and is not the result of any improper action on the part of Lark. While the case is to remain sealed, it is important to note that Sparrow's mission was well executed and vital to a number of ongoing cathedral missions. Lark acted with bravery and skill, and her involvement in a casualty mission is not to reflect poorly upon her career in any way. Oh, so her husband died in a uh, project that it sounds like she was key in. Ooh, Nancy Drew. Note, extreme skill set crossover with Harrier. Autodidact with uncanny interrogation abilities and Harrier's knack for puzzling work and code breaking. Despite experience, Kestrel is not a professional. Do not expect full professional decision making skills, not combat ready. Update, American Intel has obtained a parcel addressed to Kestrel. Inspection indicates she may be believed to have access to sensitive information contained within her household. Update, Kyoto, contact with source Logan, LM. So when we were talking to Logan, um, Savannah's assistant, we were talking to a spy, confirms suspicions that Kestrel may be manipulated by those who know her past. LM reports a fixation with a deceased member of family, S, of the Shimisu family. LM reports Kestrel is driven to solve the case of her mother's death. Her actions are uninvited. 
The psychology here is clear to anyone looking and is on the whole a worrisome development. So they're basically saying that Nancy's interest in solving the Shimizu case, the Shadow of the Water's Edge case, even though they clearly didn't want her there, was because of her need to know what happened to her own mother. Very interesting. Further developments necessitate investigation. This document will no longer be updated. So we've actually got a lot of really cool uh, information in this little database um, about people that Nancy interacts with, um, about Moira, dishonorably discharged, and then there's some like hidden ones that we don't have clearance to access. And then a little bit of information um, on the colony operation and such. But I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.